everybody. Welcome to 307 Country. Another beautiful day in western Wyoming. Wind's blowing a little bit. Hope it's not affecting the microphone too much. It's probably 40 degrees out. So today I figured I'd do a little video on these draw knives. Um, I've got some other ones too, store-bought stuff. You know, they work. I mean, there's no denying that. But these are a little different. Um, these are hand forged uh, draw knives by a guy out of uh, I believe Council, Idaho. And uh, the name of his company is Bar Tools, B A R R. You can see that mark there, maybe. But anyway. He's got all kinds of stuff that he builds. He's got stuff for log work and, and woodwork, um, adzes and scorps and firmer chisels, framing chisels, um, log slicks. You know, I don't know. A lot of people maybe don't know what some of that stuff is. Like a log slick is a it's like a three-inch chisel, but it's got a handle on it. I don't know, probably a two foot handle on it. They're about three foot and they're used for taking big knots and taking big chunks of wood off. Um, he's got beautiful chisels. Uh, puts wood handles in them. You know, just the blade alone is probably six or eight inches, probably eight inches. And then the handle's another, you know, six or eight inches. Got a metal ring around the end of it to keep it from splitting. They're beautiful, beautiful stuff. If anybody wants to look it up, it's probably on the internet, you can probably find it in B-A-R-R. But anyway, I got two of these because when I bought one, um, my dad was doing a lot of woodwork and stuff, log work, things like that, so I bought him one too, gave it to him. And he's since retired pretty much, so he doesn't use them. And, uh, so he brought it down to me last fall when he brought me that uh, plum double bit, that other double bit that I got. Yeah, when a guy's peeling, you want to go with the taper of the tree, so from the butt end out to the tip. It makes it a lot easier to peel, you're not digging in and tearing stuff up. So, we'll go ahead and do a little demo on running one of these. Oh, it's kind of a hokey setup here, but I don't have any bigger stuff laying around here. All my big stuff's up my firewood pile in town. Um, yeah, let's get after it. for bigger stuff log house logs and stuff like that but <coughs> it'll work on this stuff um, you know if I was building log furniture or something wanted to peel it down or whatever nice thing about these big blades like this these big draw knives is uh, they're heavy they're kind of like a flywheel so once you get them going they don't stop is easy like cutting through knots and things like that so anyway I'll probably wrap this up just kind of a quick short hello and get something out on these drawn eyes like I said I was going to do hope everybody's doing good out there and staying away from this virus stuff 
you know, it's kind of crazy. You know, wash your hands all the time, which I understand that, you know, when stuff like this is going on and you're out, out and about touching stuff that everybody else has touched. There's definitely a risk there, but I don't know. I think I think these people that are constantly living a sterile life are way more susceptible to getting sick from stuff, you know. I mean, little dirt never hurt, I don't think. I mean, obviously now you wouldn't want to do that, but you know, I think it helps build up your immune system if you get a little stuff here and there in your body. And, body's got to fight it off a little more often. I mean, I've been up logging and, you know, gas and oil all over everything and dirt and dust and run to the truck, grab a sandwich or some chips or something real quick, snack, you know, whatever, and out branding or doctoring cows or calves, you know, spend half the day roping, dragging your rope through the dirt and the crap and sit down and grab a beer or a soda and make a sandwich and wipe your hands off on your pants or whatever and get after it. <laughs> That's probably a little gross, but it's just the way, you know, it's the way we live out here. You know, rural people are a little different than city stuff. I hope that went not bothering the mic. I'm gonna wrap this up before it blows my truck out over. So, hope everybody's doing good. If you like the video, hit that like button. You know, appreciate everybody that's been subscribing. Want to, you know, say hi to Taz, Kenny Fuller, and Chris Liggett, Life of Curtis, Simple Man, uh, Journey North, Rock of Ages. There's, there's a bunch of you guys. I love you all. Uh, love the comments. Enjoy trying to answer everybody. So, comment down below if you don't, if you haven't. <clears throat> love to hear from you. Hope everybody has a good day. Had a great weekend. And we'll see you on the next one. 07 out.